Mrs. Abi, this has been a really wonderful two days. We have to spend more time together because I have enjoyed every minute of it, even though he's a very, very tough negotiator. <laughs> and Melania, a real friend of yours now, is Mrs. Abi, and I know you enjoyed it with me. You enjoyed it in Florida, and you enjoyed it here, and maybe even more so. But I want to thank you for the royal welcome. And it was really a very much a working holiday, even on the golf course. So we can call it a couple of days off, but it wasn't. It was full work. Even as we played golf, all we did was talk about different things. <laughs> we better not go into it. But I have to tell you, we did. And, and we made a lot of progress on a lot of fronts. Uh, I do want to congratulate Mr. Aoki. He was uh, one of the great putters, probably still is. They say you never lose your putting. When you're a great putter, you never lose your putting. But I remember uh, a specific tournament, believe it or not, because it was one of the best I ever saw. It was, it was the greatest putting display that I ever saw. It was you and Jack Nicklaus. Was that the U.S. Open? U.S. Open. And you would get up and sink a 30-footer. He'd get up and sink a 25-footer. And this went on for the whole back nine. And then ultimately, Jack won by one stroke. But that was one of the greatest putting displays anybody has ever seen and there ever was. And I even know your putting stroke, very flat. And I spoke yesterday with the great Matsuyama, who is doing great, right? He's going to be a big star, and he's going to be great. Uh, I don't even know if he's with us tonight. I don't think he's with us tonight. But he does want to get together in New York, and we're going to get together. And even though uh, I want to have a great interpreter, but he's rapidly learning the language. But I will tell you that uh, it's an honor to be with you, because everyone in the world of golf talks about that. That one great afternoon, just putt after putt, and it was really great. So congratulations. Great gentlemen. Great gentlemen. <laughs>安倍総理と昭恵夫人に感謝の意を表したいと思います。ですので、こういう優雅な、優雅なあの歓迎で本当に心から感謝しております。え、ゴルフはみんなあのこれは休みの趣味え、と思いがちなんですけれども、私たちは実は仕事ばかりの話していました。いろいろな問題について話しました。
そして私は当選さだとはいってもまだ11月でしたので正式的に大統領になるのは1月20日からでしたですので本当にあの外部の指導者とあの、まあ、会合することは実はあの NG のことだと後に分かりました So you can only take so many calls from world leaders because you know everybody was gone but Japan you take And some others. We took Germany, we took Russia, we took China, we took, we took your Prime Minister. Go ahead. The American Mo and Kazu, Demo no Kazuga, Okata no de, Mo, Genkai Garuda to Kanjimashita. Shashi, Yahari, and Kagirata Kuni no, and Odema, Motoron, Kimas, Machu Gokara no, and Oyuai no Dema to Ka, Doits, Russia, the Motoron, Nihon no Sori Kara no Dema, Kimashita. So it's November, and he said to me, Congratulations on your victory. It was a great victory. I would like to see you. I would like to see you as soon as possible. And I said, Anytime you want, just come on in. Don't worry about it. But I was referring to after January 20th. <laughs> so I said, Don't worry about it. Anytime you want, I look forward to seeing you. Just give us a call, no problem. Anytime you want. And all of a sudden, I get a call from actually Japan Press, and they said that our Prime Minister is going to New York to meet with the President elect. So, the President of the United States, the President of the United States, あのお会いしたいという話がありまして、分かりましたと、じゃあいつでもいいですよというふうにあの、えー、ちょっと適当に回答しました、私はもちろん頭の中に1月20日以降というあの意味で、えー、いつでもいいというふうに答えましたが、えー、いつでもいいですよと、で実はあの日本のマスコミから電話が来て、実はあの総理は今、ニューヨークに向かっていて、これから会合しようとしていますよと知らされました。So the press is going crazy because the Prime Minister of Japan is coming to see me. I think it's absolutely fine, but I didn't really mean now. I meant sometime in February, March, or April. <laughs> Meaning you have a very aggressive, very, very aggressive, strong, tough Prime Minister. That's a good thing, by the way, not a bad thing. <laughs> で私はいつでもいいですよと言ったのに、もう、はい、じゃあすぐ,すぐ今だということになりまして、えー、その私の前任はあまり面白くない、えー、話だったと思います、えー、今すぐではなくて、まあ、私はあの2月とか3月とか4月と思ってたんですけれども、実は総理はあの非常にあのタフな人で、積極的な政治家ですので、今すぐだということでした、私はあのそれを非常にあの、えー、頂点として考えています。So then the New York media started calling me. And I was getting all sorts of signals from Hope and Sarah in a different position and everybody. And they're going crazy. They're saying, You cannot see him. It's so inappropriate. It looks bad. I said, What's wrong? They said, It's a bad thing to see him. You have to wait till after, in all fairness, Barack Obama leaves office. And I said, What do I do? And they said, let's call. So I called him, and he wasn't there. He was on the airplane flying to New York. And I said, you know what? There's no way he's going to land and I'm not seeing him. So I saw him, and it worked out just fine. Do you agree with that? And he actually brought me the most beautiful golf club I've ever seen. It was a driver that's totally gold, right? It's gold. And I looked at it and I said, if I ever use this driver, me, to use that driver to golf up, I will be laughed off every course I ever go on to. But it is the most beautiful weapon I've ever seen, so I thank you for that. But we had a great meeting. It lasted forever. It was a very long meeting in Trump Tower. And for some reason, from that moment on, we had a really and developed a really great relationship. And、uh, here we are today, and better than ever, and we're going to work together, and it's going to get more and more special, and we're going to work out problems of Japan and problems of the United States, and it's going to be something very, very special for both countries. そこでメディアから、えー、いろいろ言われましたが、そして自分の側近たちにも言われました、これはあの適切なタイミングではないなど、いろいろ言われました。でも私はあのどうすればいいんですか
じゃあ、えー、総理に電話する、えー、ということにしましたが、実は留守電でした、なぜかというと、あの飛行機に乗っていらっしゃいました、すでにニューヨークに向かっているということで、もうあの着陸してからあの断ることはできないので、実際会うことにさせていただきました、で実はあの総理があの、えー、素晴らしいお土産を持ってきてくださいました。あの金色のゴルフのゴールドドライバーを持ってきてくれました、私はこれをゴルフ場で使ったら、あの周りの人たちに笑わされる、爆笑されるだろうと思ったんですけれども、実は本当に美しい剣のようなものなんですよ、だから私はそのトランプタワーでの会合、総理との会合は本当にあのいい思い出になりました。いい関係になりまして、これからさらにいい友情になると確信しています、日本の問題の解決、そしてアメリカの問題の解決をすることはできると自信を持っております。The Emperor and the Empress, and spent a long time talking to them today. And there was a lot of love in that room for all of you people, I can tell you, from everyone from Japan. They love the people of Japan, they love this country dearly, and they have great, great respect for your Prime Minister. And they truly think that your Prime Minister did very, very well when he decided to marry, or she decided to marry him, Mrs. Abe. But they have great, great respect. I can tell you that. そしてこれで最後のコメントをさせていただきますが、本日は工業に行くこともできました、非常に美しい場所に行きました、そこで天皇陛下と皇后陛下にお会いすることもできました、そこで非常に国民に対する愛情を感じました、それも安倍総理との共通点があると思います。安倍総理の日本の国民に対するあのその責任感を持っていますし、親しい気持ちを持っています、でそれはあの昭恵夫人がその素晴らしさを見て、このいい男と結婚することができました、本当にあのその自分の国民をこのふうに尊敬するリーダーがいるというのは、日本国民は恵まれていると思います。Incredible friendship and incredible success for many centuries to come. Not years, not decades, but for many centuries to come. And again, it's an honor to have you as my good friend. And I just want to thank you and Mrs. Abi. This is a very, very special two days. We will not forget and we will be back soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. 最後のコメントとしては、本当にあの素晴らしい友情ができました、これからの素晴らしい成功を成し遂げることもできると思います、これあの1年とか10年の単位ではなくて、米日両国は100年単位で、あのこれからもあの明るい未来を持っていると思います、こういうあの安倍総理とこういう素晴らしいあの友達ができたというのは大変光栄に思います、安倍総理と昭恵夫人に改めて感謝の意を表したいと思います。Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you.